All right, guys, we're back. It's been a while, I know. <clears throat> I got some updates. I uh, I lost the SolidWorks license I had through uh, my school, so I had to redesign pretty much everything. So that's why it looks a little different. Long story short, this is kind of an updated version based off of some comments I got from y'all on the last video. Um, I think first we'll talk about some questions or some suggestions like, dual overhead cams not doing that way too complicated would have to get custom ground cams would need a timing chain set new timing cover like no way absolutely not way above my pay grade which is zero dollars um and then some other things that were said were like um, go with the ls style tall thin cathedral ports you'll see i did do that um Tried to eliminate as much of the angle out of the rockers as possible. And you'll see that here. Um, I was able to kind of fudge around it with that taller, thinner port. And keep all those push rods more in line with the valve now. Um, they still see they still tilt back like that which um, isn't ideal but because of the shape of the um, because of how close the let's see if I can show a better better image because of how close the holes are for the push rods in the block compared to the cylinder um, they kind of have to especially with the new combustion chamber I made. I tried to model this off of a, a different LS3 block model. I think I showed you all that head in the last video. I tried to copy that here. Uh, <clears throat> they've obviously done a lot of design work designing those LS heads. So I figure if I could you know, make something similar to that, it would have relatively decent flow characteristics. Also started doing some research on creating swirl in the cylinder and um, this quench pad area and how you want air to flow in past the intake and then get pushed out toward the exhaust. So I'll try to incorporate that as much as possible, but I'm still learning. So we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, again, right now, you probably have to come through and cut out a section of the block right here to make this push rod be able to go all the way through, which isn't ideal, but not the end of the world. And um, and then again, we're still at, you know, LS rockers, LS valves and springs, which ideally would mean it's relatively easy to find parts like this. Um, I will have to end up making some sort of intake manifold for these but you know they sell they sell top end kits for any you know small block ford small block chevy that comes with cylinder head intake valve train assembly so maybe you know that's kind of where we'd go is uh a top end kit that you could bolt on throw a four barrel on it <clears throat> excuse me so not too worried about that um, I am going to probably end up redesigning all this one more time because I'm not super happy with how these uh, ports came out. I, uh, I'm working with a new design tool and having to learn how to use it. So it's okay. Um, I got the spark plugs in there. Pretty happy with that. Trying to make sure that I have plenty of material everywhere. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much where we're at right now. Still would make use of the um, stock style headers. So you could use like the, the Headman headers on on um, on something like this. It may need some sort of uh, adapter bracket. But I imagine that could be made out of like a laser cut. Um, you know, quarter inch or whatever thickness steel would need to be added just to make sure everything bolts on squarely. 
But um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at so far. I kind of took the, the LS chamber and port style and um, incorporated it a lot more into the design. So let me know what y'all think. Um, You know, I can only scoot, I can only scoot the, the rockers back so far. Um, I could go more vertical with the valves like they are in the stock head, but then that changes my combustion chamber shape. And like I said, I'm trying to match something like the LS to know that it has decent characteristics, but, um, I guess I could try to redesign the combustion chamber from scratch. I'm not sure I really want to do that. I also don't have any flow simulation tools or anything, so I can't tell what the air would do. But um, yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with how it's coming along right now. Started trying to work on the water passages, but that'll be um, kind of on the back burner until I figure out exactly what I want the main components to look like as far as you know, valve train, geometry, and ports and everything. Um, so yeah, thanks for all the feedback on the last video. I tried to read all the comments, but I got way more than I expected. So sorry if I missed yours. Feel free to let me know um, what you think and how you think I can improve on this. Again, like I said, I'm probably going to redesign the whole thing, but it's relatively straightforward because I just do one cylinder at a time and then basically pattern it out um so yeah that's where we're at so far sorry it took a while to get an update but um thanks for watching